all favourites. It's definitely one of the best ways to approach this all-important match to try to challenge for number one of Group B's position right here. Very action-packed, three-week group stage to be. Where's the next era that he's going to gank and set up for a very strong counter gank over there by limiting his options? Optimus a bit oh, of trouble. Oh, here we go now. Solid and Barry down to Optimus getting decimated by Rune right there. And the all there is going to back off. But down the bottom lane though, we do have a little bit of engage breaking out. Minus going so low right here. Will LI4 eventually pick up a kill onto Minus? A lot of slows coming down. He does get the kill down onto Aziz. Mid lane. Now, as the five against IGL, this is going to be a very interesting thing because, oh, oh there we go, on to Jinky. That, that's right, a lot of damage coming onto the S. Mega Death Rocker going to come in. The shutdown goes over. It's going to be Valkyrie picking that one up. Uzi's going to flash over the wall here. Optimus getting caught in by the Dark Binding. And it, in fact, it's going to be the Soul Shacker that picks up the kill. And the mid lane will have to be decided to itemize into that. Ice Mongola and hold on now, Jinky might find himself in a bit of trouble right here. Alpha is going to come in with the slicing mills from getting blown back by the Monsoon, but so much damage. Rune as well as L I4 is going to pick up one kill consecutively. Rune now on the back end. He's going to get locked up. Azizi Zizi is going to be the one going down. Valkyrie picks up one kill. Going to get excited on the NS. Fantastic 5 with a 4 men stack into the mid lane. The turret is going to go down quite soon here. Harley Louie is going to pop that Vault Breaker and going to zone out minus as well. Saw Badger going to come on through. Slicing mills from here comes the kick on to L I4 to push him back. And the Super Mega Death Rocket is going to come through as well. That's going to be Harley Louie that picks up the kill in the end. And Rune off to the side. Did pick up the kill onto Minus as well. Optimus is going to come in and secures the kill onto Hallelujah. Hallelujah that secures the third dragon for ISG Legends right now. Will we see the slice coming through? No, not quite. It's going to be SF5 that picks up the Baron, but on the back end, Rune is going to try to go in onto Minus at this stage. LF4 does go down. Jinky is going to pick up the kill. Two kills now in succession for SF5, but it's going to be Hallelujah coming in on the back end to clean up the fight here. It is going to be Valkyrie pick terrain as well. So. There's no way that SF5 is going to chase after that. We do see the TP coming in though. Onto ZZ. Are they deciding going to chase on this one? Here comes the speedy Lulu to the rescue though. Is he going to pick up the kill onto Rapier? What auto attack ought to do it? Yes, he does. The Wild Growth, not too sure what that was for. And pack quite the punch. True Shot Barrage being fired down to the ball lane to clear the wave. And in the top lane, we do see the Sawberry come through. Minus gets chunked down to 10%. Going to get taken down. Hallelujah picks up that kill. Azizi now in a lot of trouble. The crit is going to come in to pick up the kill. And Uzi is going to be the next target in the eyes of IG Legends. Spirit Rush does come through. Where is the next target? Rune going to try to chase up to the rest of the squad here. Jinky going to kick him away. And I feel like that's... Jokers in the game that he dropped there. The huge lead. But it was these major fights where I just started to drop the bomb. And now IG are on the chase. Dark Binding doesn't land. Yeah, that's right. Dark Binding doesn't land. True Shot Rush is going to come through. Rapier is going to stay alive for now. The Zonis Hourglass has to flash on the back, but Jinky is going to wrap around with the flank here. Slicing Maelstrom is going to come through. They are going to focus onto Minus, and LY4 is going to go down. It looks like SF5 might be taking this fight, but on the back end, they are going to chase. They are going to run away. Rune's going to use the charm to slow down Jinky for a fair bit. Valkyrie's going to come through on the back now, and we do see the rest of SF5 chasing off IS Legends. So, they do get the Jokers game as well. You know, they kind of falter at this stage of the game. Well, oh, they go in onto Azizi. The wild group is not available. Hallelujah, and a whole bunch of trouble. They Valkyrie for him. They do get him. This is just pick off after pick off. They do go for it. It's a double kill onto Minus. It is the Yo, they start up the dragon. This is going to be dragon number five. All the poke damage is coming in. Are they able to land it? Charm doesn't land. Yeah, that's right. And they are going to go in. Oh, they get the steal onto the dragon as well. But all oh, hell is going to break loose. IGL does get the kill onto Jinky. They are going to focus on the rest of the members right now. And Azizi bring. Brought down quite low, but Optimus in the pit now. Everyone trapped in the Dragon Pit. Valkyrie has nowhere to run. Where is he going to go to? It is going to be the Quadra kill, I believe. No, it's not the Quadra, but the Triple. And the shutdown coming through on Psycho Fantastic 5's end here. It's only going to be LY4 staying alive off of that fight here. And with uh, the Super Minions pushing in the favor of SF5, I think this is going to be it. SF5 is definitely going to go all the way. Both the AD carries are alive in this one. And it looks like ISG Legends missed that big opportunity right there. I mean, they were doing so well. They had four dragons in their pocket. But it looks like they slipped up a little bit. They ceded the map control over to SF5. And with the switch composition,